Welcome to our country kitchen in our farmhouse outside of Assisi. And today we're going to make a delicious contorno or side dish as the Italians would call it. Um, highlighted with broccoli romani. Now I'm not taking you out to the garden to see where our broccoli romani go because it's very bitterly cold today. Pino picked these for me yesterday also called Romanesque broccoli, I believe in English, a very nutritious vegetable. This dish will delight even the younger ones who might be hesitant about eating vegetables. Very simple, very quick to eat, to make, and extremely tasty. Delicious as a side dish with a main course of meat or a main course of cheese or eggs, for example. The ingredients you can see right here, broccoli romani, breadcrumbs, and we make our breadcrumbs. And this is bread, breadcrumbs made from the bread of Umbria. Garlic, just a clove we'll use. We'll use about five sun-dried tomatoes. We'll use diced parsley, and this is the last of our garden. It's been so very cold the last few days. Uh, cheese cut into small pieces, cubed. I'm going to use a scamorza today. This is a cow's milk scamorza um, from the caseificio or the cheese shop right in Santa Maria degli Angeli. They're made there. You can also use a mozzarella. Olive oil, of course. And this is our olive oil. Look at that green gold. And we're using not parmigiano today, but pecorino. A sheep's milk cheese. It gives it a little bit more bite than a parmigiano does. So the first step will be to wash and cut the broccoli. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. Now we're going to wash our broccoli romani from our garden. Our goats will be very happy because they will get this part. Goats get the organic scraps from our kitchen. Here's another section of broccoli romani. But I am going to save the leaves, and they're not going into this dish, but I'm going, to, I'm going to cook them separately in a little bit of salted water uh, after dicing them, and then I'm going to serve them on bruschetta. Toasted bread, toasted right here on our wood stove, and then the bread is rubbed with a bit of garlic and these tidbits here are going to be used on a bruschetta. But right now, let us continue with a cavoli romani. So what you want to do is cut it simply like this into flowerets and the flowerets will be washed. And then after the flowerets are washed, you will be cooking them for five minutes in salted boiling water. And while you're doing that, you can then dice the garlic clove, one, and chop the tomatoes into small pieces and cube the cheese. And by the time you do all that, the broccoli is cooked and we will show you the next step. Our wood stove heats the house in the winter. Heats all the water, which is through the floor. We have a very warm, toasty house. And this is where I do a lot of my cooking. I've just added some wood to the wood stove. And I brought the water to a boil. I'm going to add salt to the water. How much salt? <laughs> the rule is QB, quanto basta, as much as you need. I would say, about two tablespoons. So my broccoli romani are now going to simmer briefly in the boiling water. And as the flowerets simmer, I'll be dicing the garlic cutting the five or six sun-dried tomatoes into small pieces and cutting the scamorza into cubes. And so in go the flowerets. So 
some pieces are larger, some are smaller. I want them all, I think, reduced to roughly the same size. We'll break up this piece here. This Broccolo Romano is a cruciferous plant. It belongs to the same family as kale, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts. Very rich in vitamin C, vitamin K, Broccoli Romani. We'll cook now for five minutes. And I'll head over, dice the garlic, prepare the tomatoes and the cheese. Scamorza. Sometimes we purchase the scamorza fumicato. It's just absolutely delicious. Smoked scamorza. Split it in the middle, put it in the oven, and it melts. What a dinner. You can even do so with the simple unsmoked scamorza, if you wish. But today, the diced scamorza is going into our dish of cavoli romani gratinati. Gratiné. And so I will be cutting the cheese to about this size. And now we're going to dice the parsley from our garden. Of course, even the stems, delicious. And we're using everything we can because it's February and this is probably the last pluck of parsley from the garden for a while. We'll come back until the weather warms up a bit. So I'm first going to give it a, a dice, a chop, and then take down one of my favorite pieces from this wall of all our pots. This is probably the most precious of everything up here. This is the mezzaluna, the half moon. This is now a very old piece. It was given to Pino by an 80 year old woman who lived above him when he lived in Milan in the 70s and worked. And this is the mezzaluna, the half moon. What therapy is this? The use of the mezzaluna. Slide and baby step, slide and baby step. Slide and baby step. Oh, I know there are much more modern ways to do this, but I wouldn't trade my mezzaluna for anything. Arm work, meditative work. If you do it for a while, you can go right into contemplation. And the cutting board, this is a beautiful cutting board. This is an artisanal piece done by a gentleman from Assisi working in olive wood. This is all an olive wood cutting board, a very precious piece as well. And see the nice job? Done by the mezzaluna, the half moon, the cradle knife. Now we're going to create our topping for the broccoli romani. So we're putting into a bowl, pan grattugiato, the tomatoes diced, a little bit of garlic, and we're going to slide right in our parsley. Mix. And I can just tell by, you know, how much of everything. It's all QB. The tomatoes, quanto basta, as much as it takes. The tomatoes were about five. The parsley, just a good looking bunch. The scamorza, which is coming too, is I bought, you know, by it's not been weighed. I just bought by sight. I'm gonna add a little bit more pangatujato here. I'm going to add some olive oil. And this is going to be our mixture. Not too much as yet. This is going to be our mixture for 
the broccoli romani gratinati before they go into the oven. So our five minutes is up and it's time to drain our broccoli romani. Uh, steamed or brought to a little boil and then the heat dropped for a quick five minutes. We don't want them too overcooked and it's time to drain them. <coughs> time to drain them. And one little trick, which I'm not going to do because these are just for us, drop them right away into cold water and that will preserve the lovely color of the broccoli romani. Now we're almost ready to complete our wonderful dish of broccoli romani gratinati. What we're doing is coating the bottom of the pan we're going to use, which will go in the oven. We will put a little bit of breadcrumbs on the bottom, sprinkle some on the bottom. That way the broccoli romani aren't sticking to the bottom. So we've covered it with oil, added grated breadcrumbs, a little bit more. In go the broccoli. Romani. Steamed a bit, they're nicely al dente. And now, the scamorza. Sprinkled on top. I have a little bit left over. I think I'm gonna put them on the bruschetta with the cavalli romani leaves that we have. And now we'll put our nice mixture of breadcrumbs, parsley, diced garlic, sun-dried tomatoes. You know, one thing about Italian cooking that I always talk about and like to think about, the beauty of it. It's not just the goodness. It's the aesthetic pleasure of what's before our eyes. Not to mention the cooking utensils, like this lovely bowl from Deruta. Maiolica. Look at even the olive oil bottles. Look at that little piece of poetry in which it's served. Pleasure to the stomach and pleasure to the eye. That's Italy. Here we go. And now before I'm going to put it in the oven, which is at 200 centigrade, I'm baking it about 20 minutes. I'm sprinkling the top with the pecorino so it will make a nice crust. And there we are. And bon appetito. It's been 20 minutes and I think our broccoli romani gratinati should be done. Let's have a look. Ah, mi sembra buonissimo. This looks quite delicious. What do you think? Join us for dinner. We do rural banquets in our home here in the CZ countryside. We host my tour clients. We host the people who stay in our lovely apartments right behind our house. Seen stayacizi.com and sometimes they come for dinner. One of these days, I'm going to serve up broccoli romani gratinati. Join us soon for lunch or dinner. Come soon to visit us, to stay in our Assisi apartments, and to join us with a rural feast. See you soon. Arrivederci.